And the focus is on Group D, where it is judgment day for Argentina and their talisman, Lionel Messi. Slammed by the world for their abysmal start to the campaign and with a camp torn by a player mutiny against the manager, the two-time world champions face a must-win scenario against Nigeria to progress further in the tournament. Even still, an Iceland victory over the already qualified Croatia could mean curtains for Messi and company. Okay, big, big match coming up and we can tell you there have been some big changes in the Argentina squad. Let me just take you through them and I'll ask uh, Matty and Eugene to uh, respond to what they're seeing on their screens. Five changes to that team that was thrashed by Croatia. A change in system as well. What happens to appear a 4-3-3 goalkeeper, Caballero, wing-backs, Eduardo, Salvio and Marcus Acuna. Kun Aguero and Maximiliano Meza have all been dropped. Franco Armani replaces Caballero. Marcos Rojo comes back. Eva Banega, Gonzalo Higuain and Angel Di Maria have been drafted into the squad. And we're being told that Nigeria are unchanged from the side that beat Iceland 2-0. First question, Maddie Holland, there was talk that the coach be removed. He stayed. We heard that the players said, we will pick the team. Does it look like a team picked by the players? I certainly think it's a, it's a formation picked by the players. I mean, they've gone back to a previous formation they worked on for a long time. But I think the group, the stronger heads in the group would have maybe forced that. Okay, uh, Eugene Sin, what do you make of uh, what you've just seen? Uh, obviously, these are panic stations. You have to win. You have to go with your best lineup. Forget what has happened. You've got one shot. Let's take it. Uh, uh, the formation suits right for Messi and the players that they've got. Higuain, uh, Angel Di Maria and uh, yeah, the three of them up front. Uh, it has got, like, like we said again for Paraguay, you know, you're, you're limiting their abilities. But with this kind of formation, I'm sure Messi would have more opportunity to play up front in the final third rather than him playing, coming up up to the midfield and picking up the balls from there. So, mm. it's great for him. Okay. But when you've been the butt of all jokes, you think, what can be worse? You've already hit rock bottom. Is this, is this time now for the team to get a reaction? They've been hurting. They've, they've, they've copped it from everyone, from football fans, on social media, the pundits, the former Argentine players of the generation of Aussie Ardiles, Mario Kempes and even Maradona. Do you think that when you've nothing to lose, this is, uh, this is the right time for them to come back? Yeah, they are, we, as football fans, we expect Argentina to always do well, you know. And uh, yeah, so because when they don't do well, getting all the misfire and all that stuff, you, you feel kind of sorry for them. But if you look at it, Messi has really literally dragged them into this World Cup. And so now again, the shoulder comes onto Messi. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's up to him. And I know he's, he's the kind of player that would really step into big games. He would come here, prove to the world that Argentina are a big team. It's just that they've got things wrong and previously done the previous matches. So. I'm hopeful that they would do better here and onwards to the next stage. It's interesting he says that. Let's go back in history. Let's go back to 1990. They had the worst of starts. Just about managed to qualify for <laughs> the second round. This is Maradona's team when they were defending the title. Lost to Cameroon. Yep. Just about managed uh, to get there. Then beat Brazil in that big match. And then went all the way to the final. Nobody remembers the struggles initially. What they remember is Argentina lost in the finals. And that's a credible performance. You think this team has it in it. They know that if they get a result, if they go through, then all that's going to be remembered is that, like Germany, they were about to go out, but they've gone all the way. Yeah, and I also think, you know, <clears throat> unfortunately for them, they've lost the last three finals that they've played in. Mm. Um, reading an article today from Zabaleta. So, you know, it's not easy for them. They're on, they, they have this routine now at the moment of losing finals. I mean, they're not even there yet. It's mm. only, you know, the last game in the group stage. So they've got to lift themselves and pick themselves up. Okay, he mentioned Messi, who can drag the game by the scruff of its neck. How do Argentina get Messi into this World Cup? That's been the problem. They changed to a 3-4-3 last game, thinking that it could happen, got played off the park, especially in the midfield. How do they get Messi involved? Because if you get him involved, he will deliver. Well, just, I'll just show you on the board here. Of course, you've got, you've got the 4-3-3 that we think they're going to play tonight. And Messi operating in this, in this position just here. Um, of course, the, the important thing when he plays in this position is that he does this for his club. So he obviously feels far more, far more, this is quite sticky at the moment, but in this position, he feels far more comfortable 
rolling inside or dropping into pockets. As Eugene said, he doesn't have to stay central now and come back into the pitch. On, on, the, on the second hand of that, what I personally believe is to get him even, even better is, for example, if they change the system. We're not going to see this tonight, but this is an idea that I think would work. If the, for Argentina, they don't have the same squad that they had even in 2002. We spoke squad, about yeah, it. Yeah. This is unbelievable players. Mm. Top, top players. Raquel May, Crespo, they're all there. This type of calibre is not in this squad. But what they do have, they need to try and get on the pitch. So at least what I believe is that within this system now, you can get Messi in the team. You can get Igwe in the team. You can get uh, Aguero in the team. Secondly, in the wide positions, which I'll just highlight here, and I'll take this one off. You could play a winger in one of those mm. positions, maybe Angel Di Maria. If you play Di Maria in this system, he can go up, he can come wider. If Messi, for example, comes into this role, Di Maria can maybe drive inside and there's rotation there. You've played in this system, Eugene, so Eugene understands about it also. Mm. So here, then what happens is uh, Benega helps Mascherano and become a defensive so part of the midfield. Drop, so he can drop around this yeah. way. So, so they can cover and balance. balance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh, but for them to do that, there is still a um, small matter of Nigeria. Nigeria and Argentina seem to have this love affair at the uh, World Cups. They end up playing each other almost every uh, group stage. But Nigeria are no pushovers. They have uh, Ahmed Musa who's now been dubbed Lionel Musa for his goal scoring exploits. This Nigerian team actually beat Argentina 4-2 in a friendly in November. So uh, Eugene. They know that Argentina are hurting, they can actually exploit them because you put the pressure on Argentina, you don't know, they could crack. Uh, they, uh, as of now, they have the confidence beating Argentina once, 4-2, that was not, not a narrow margin. Uh, with the momentum that they're going into this, they have got great capabilities, like you said. Uh, Musa, yeah, El Niacho, then you got Mikel in mid midfield. They, are, they have a strong and they're big. They're, they're physical. Mm. So, I mean like... Uh, technically, tactically, they'll do the best that they can to re uh, rep uh, replicate what they had done in the international match. That's why they've stick to the same formation what they mm. did the last time. Mm. So I think they feel they know that this formation can help, uh, can hurt Argentina. So that's why they've stuck with it. Okay, it's going to be, we think, a long 90 minutes plus whatever else is added on for Argentina.